Hey, everybody. Welcome in to the show. You are literally witnessing and watching and listening and enjoying. And what I'm saying is this is history in the making right now, and you're a part of it. And I want to thank you for tuning in to SLC Puck. Uh, The history I'm referring to, of course, is not only the launch of this podcast and blog and whatever else this thing ends up being. The history, really, I think as you probably know by now, is that Salt Lake City will be the new home of an NHL franchise. Thanks for tuning in again. My name is Austin Facer. Let me just show you, tell you a little bit about myself. For those of you who are new to me and, and what I do in my life and who I am, um, this is all new to everybody. That's kind of what makes this exciting and fun is we're going to start a new community where we get to know each other, where we cheer on this new team. Um, there's going to be interest in a sport that's really never had this level of interest around here before. And I think that's all really exciting. So I'll start with introductions. I'll tell you about myself. Um, my name is Austin Facer. Um, if the Facer name sounds familiar. My dad, Dirk Facer, was a Deseret News sports writer for le- about 25 years. Um, if you follow that in the news, you probably know he passed away in 2023, uh, March 2023. So miss him very much. He's obviously a big part of why I do things like this and why I've had the career that I've had. Um, you know, I worked in sports media for a long time, trying to follow in dad's footsteps. I interned for David Locke. Um, I was most recently in the media as a reporter at abc4.com. I'm kind of out of the media game right now. I'm going to fade that down a little bit. And, but now uh, I feel like this is just a good opportunity for me to dig into a new passion project. Um, I was really excited about this news. I thought this could be a really good opportunity. And uh, I was delighted to uh, see that this URL, the name of this podcast, was available. I scooped it up for a very cheap price. Uh, price so cheap, I don't want to say because I'm sure it'll make some people mad um, and maybe a little jealous, I hope, because I think it's a really good name. Um, obviously, it plays off of SLC Punk, the movie with uh, Matthew Lillard. Uh, that was a hit at Sundance in like the early, late 80s, early 90s. Um, so anyway, we're, gonna, we're just getting started here. This is the first episode. Still trying to figure out what this is going to look like. Uh, getting a website set up. Get, I got all the social media handles too, which was pretty huge. Um, But I just want to turn this into a fun thing. Um, We'll work into a regular schedule. I I think I might have enough time to do maybe two episodes a week and try to get some written content up for you guys at slcpuck.com. But we'll see. You know, I mean, I'm going to try to do this uh, as much by myself as I possibly can. But I think what's great is we're going to be able to go slow into this. We're going to be able to really take our time uh, just basically starting from the building blocks, like, I mean, the foundational level of understanding what is hockey, um, how to cheer on a hockey team, how to know if they're playing well. I mean, obviously I think with the jazz being, uh, who they are in town, I think everybody around here feels like they're a basketball expert. Uh, they're probably not, but luckily I don't think there are very many people around here who think they're hockey experts. And I think that's probably the case. Um, I think a lot of people who, who maybe, have heard maybe just have heard of hockey are going to get really interested in this and see what it's all about. Um, you know, it's, it's something to be really excited about. This is, this really is kind of historical. This team is, is going to be here. Um, we'll jump into the, the storylines. Um, but right now I'm talking to you guys, it's Monday, April 15th, at about 10 30 PM. And we're expecting everything in the news from what's been, uh, indicated in the reporting um, is that the it's pretty much a done deal. The Arizona Coyotes are going to relocate to Salt Lake City um, as soon as the sale to Ryan Smith is complete. And it could be announced as early as the day of or the day after the Coyotes' last regular season home game in Arizona, which is, I believe, on Wednesday. They, they host the Edmonton Oilers, I think. But for, I mean, the reporting has been solid on this and it's, it's been essentially confirmed by everybody except the parties involved because they're going to make the announcement. They're not, they're not going to 
confirm or deny anything until they can put it on a press release or, or do like a cool video announcement or whatever. That's just the way that this business works. But it's it's a done deal. The Arizona Coyotes are coming to Salt Lake City, and it's a really exciting time. And I hope people who live around here, who live in, in Salt Lake City, really understand what this means to have uh, the major league of hockey in Utah. This is the best hockey league in the world. The best players in the world are going to be here consistently throughout the year in the same way that the NBA is the best league in the world for basketball. That's what the NHL is. And right now hockey has never been better. There's a lot of great storylines. The teams that are in our Intermountain region are really good. The the previous two champions are the teams that are closest to us, the Colorado Avalanche and the Vegas Golden Knights. That's I think that's pretty exciting. They're going to be maybe natural rivals. I imagine they'll kick our ass quite often, uh, especially uh, right out of the gates. But still, it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I had the opportunity to go to a Golden Knights game last year, and it w- or I think it might have actually been earlier this year. It was in December. And it, it was one of the most incredible sporting experiences I ever had. It was a ton of fun. And I really hope that the, that the ownership group that now owns the Coyotes – and is going to rebrand them to the Utah whatevers makes the, creates that same experience here in Utah because it it really it's something else it's it's better than a jazz game it's better than anything else we have here it's it's a lot of fun I think people are going to really love it so it's pretty much a done freaking deal uh, most recently the most recent report this this story's kind of been evolving throughout the week but most recently here it looks like in the afternoon. Uh, it's been reported that the NHL executive committee has approved the relocation of the Arizona Coyotes. Now, I believe the executive committee is just like a select group of owners, and then it moves to a broader vote um, that includes the entire board of governors. I, they call that the the owners. Uh, so that's all thirty two teams are going to vote on that, but they're 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 going to vote yes. There won't be any hiccups there because they vote yes to a one point two billion dollar sale. They're entitled to two hundred million of that one point two billion. The other billion is going to go to the the Coyotes' former owner, but they're going to make easy money, and it's going to be a better deal for everybody in the NHL to have a team in Salt Lake City because it's been a disaster in Arizona. They've been kicked out of stadiums for not paying their bills. They're not very popular with the local government. Uh, the mayor of Scottsdale most recently said about a proposed arena plan, or yeah, arena plan. Excuse me, that he doesn't want that team there. He, the, he doesn't want to have to do all the infrastructure work that'll have to be done. The Coyotes have been screwed for a while. And, and what happened was Ryan Smith really just saw this as a great opportunity to bring in another community asset, something else into his portfolio. And what I think is, <laughs> I think this is something that he can leverage into getting a new arena for the Jazz and the NHL team and something that can be used when the Olympics roll around in 2030 or 2034. So this is this really is a huge domino in something that's going to really affect downtown Salt Lake City, Utah, the Olympics, local economy perhaps. It's, this is really a huge deal, and that's why the story is blown up so much here in Salt Lake City. So um, let's just take a minute here to talk about what happens next. Um, so what basically we're here where it's, we're, it's going to be the 16th, probably when this episode drops the next, the day after, or the day after that, the, the 18th, the announcement's going to be made that the coyotes are coming to Salt Lake city. They're going to play, like I said, like they're going to play their last game in Arizona on Wednesday. It's expected to be like insanely emotional. I bet for a lot of the fans, they play in a small arena right now. They, they play in the Mullet Arena, which is on the campus of Arizona State. It only seats about 4,000, I think. So that it's going to be completely full. There are plenty of fans that are going to be sad to see the Coyotes go. This, the ticket prices reflect that already. I think I saw that standing room only seats at, not seats, but standing room only at this arena. Like those tickets are going for over $600. So a lot of people want to go see, you know, it's that, that's that's the next phase in this chapter is the the coyotes final game in in arizona at that point they'll see they'll cease to be the coyotes as part of the deal uh i believe that they have to leave the name 
logo and maybe even the history in Arizona because Arizona now becomes the next team, the next market to get an expansion team when the NHL does expand to, to like, I don't know, a larger field, maybe 33, 34 teams. Uh, that's part of the deal that the ownership made with the NHL is that they'll get the next expansion franchise. So Arizona won't be forever without a hockey team, but just until they open the league up to, to more teams, which I'm not sure when that could be. So that'll be the next phase in the chapter. And then from there, once the team is officially no longer the Arizona Coyotes, which will happen on Thursday, it's going to be a quick turnaround. And Ryan Smith, the, who's going to be the new owner, in case you didn't catch all that, he's got a lot of work to do. He's, got, he's now the owner of, a, of an NHL franchise, and there's a lot of work he's got to do to get this thing ready. I, I, I believe it's been reported that the Delta Center, where the Jazz play, and it's not an ideal venue for hockey. That's going to be in the news when this, when this team starts to play, is how you know not great the sight lines are, and that's going to evolve into a larger discussion about getting a new arena downtown. This is exactly how Ryan Smith has it scripted. But what happens after that, I mean, what happens to get to that point? You know, they have to do the renovations to the arena. They have to brand the team, which is going to be a really quick, very uh, almost frantic process. It kind of scares me because it's going to be really important to get the name of the team and the colors and the look just right. That's how you make a big splash in a new market. If they don't get it right, there's going to be a lot of bad press, especially considering how not great the rebranding of the Utah Jazz went in the last couple of years. So I think Ryan has to know that he's got to nail this. He's got to knock it out of the park right off the get-go. Um, you know, I, It's going to be tough because what I, I also saw it reported that the Coyotes are leaving their entire business side um, in Arizona. Those people are going to basically be laid off as soon as the team gets sold to Ryan Smith. And so what really is going to happen is the people who work on the Utah jazz who work on Ryan Smith's other team, the real salt Lake in, in major league soccer and the Utah Royals of, of the women's league. Those people are going to have to really, really quickly grab hold of the Coy- the former coyotes franchise and transform them into Utah's team. It's it, they're going to have to integrate their work. They're going to have to do two or three jobs at the same time. And that's a lot of work and it's a quick turnaround. They've got the draft lottery in may. The team's probably going to have a really high pick. The NHL draft is scheduled for June 28th. I'm certain Ryan Smith is going to want to have a Salt Lake City hockey team jersey with the logo and all that ready to hand to their first pick. Uh, that's the end of June. Free agency is July, t- July 1st. I think there's a couple guys they need to sign to get people excited about hockey here. Trevor Lewis, who is going to uh, end his contract with the LA Kings this last year. If he doesn't retire, he should sign with the NHL team, that'll be a huge P- PR move. And Ryan Smith has to know that they've got to find a place for these guys to practice too, during the week in between games, they've got to do a lot. And, and it's crazy that they're going to try to pull this off so quickly. We're here in the middle of April. They've got to do all this stuff and be ready to, to drop the puck in September and October. I, I pardon my math. I can't do it on the fly right now, but it, that seems like maybe six months. I'm wrong. Go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me how stupid I am. I don't. I don't give a shit. But it's, again, the 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 rush is going to be crazy. But it's. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think people should be really excited about what's coming. I know the larger hockey community. Some people um, may not understand why Salt Lake City was a good choice. Um, I think there's still a lot of uh, misconceptions and perceptions about Salt Lake that exist from. From uh, from an era that was long, and, and it does make sense. You know, I think there's, like, a lot of, you know, what's the joke? Like, people in Utah have, like, multiple wives or, like, everybody's Mormon or something. Neither of those are true. Salt Lake really is a great place for, you know, continued growth in, in the sports and entertainment scene. Really, the Coyotes had no future in Arizona. They clearly weren't going to get a new arena that they desperately needed. But now they're going to Salt Lake City, and it's a great place. People here love sports. The Jazz are incredibly popular, even in years when they're bad, which of of late is is very much a Jazz fan's reality. Still, they do really great attendance-wise. They have a lot of support. People wear Jazz stuff all over the place. I'm hoping they'll do the same with whatever this team's logo is. I hope they nail it. I hope hope they get it right. But Utah really is an up-and-coming state. It's one of the fastest-growing states in the country. 
if not the fastest. It's a it's a completely new diverse crowd that's that's coming in here. They're moving from other states. They're bringing their ideologies. They're bringing their culture here. It's a lot of fun. Uh, there's a great economy here. I mean, people have great jobs. The tech sector is incredible. And still, we have so much natural beauty all over the state. I mean, we have so many ski resorts, national parks. We've got a metro area in Salt Lake. We've got like a really affluent kind of boutique, sort of our own Aspen in Park City. Those people are going to love this hockey team. It's it's a great choice, and it's going to be a great new chapter for for this team and for for the sport of hockey. And there are a lot of people who are really excited to to dig into this and get excited about something new. And that's why. Again, back to my original point, why I wanted to do this. I want to keep this light. I want to keep this fun. I, I don't have to report to anybody on this. I don't have to answer to anybody. I don't have to do it anybody else's way, but the way that I want to do it. And the way that I want to do it is a way that you guys like, a way that you guys find interesting and educational and, and gets you excited about, about this new thing that we have, have in our community. So, uh, f- please like subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to do these podcasts in one shot, try to make them about 20 minutes. I'm at 16 right now. I think that's pretty good for a first episode with, with not a lot to say. Um, I'm sure there'll be more to say later in the week, especially as the announcement gets made and things really start ramping up. So, um, we'll see how that goes. I'm definitely looking forward to that. I'll try to get the lighting right too. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you, you're noticing me playing with the lights right now trying to get this right. So anyway, you can, you can watch these on YouTube. If you like, I'm going to put these up pretty much everywhere. Podcasts are found SLC SLC puck.com. It's going to have a lot of great written content as well. That's kind of my background. That's kind of my forte. So, um, please, you know, follow us for the ride and, and tell you what, here's a little treat. I'm going to hit you with that, that nice music as an outro again. Let me know if you like this, by the way, it, I just, it was in the free library. I don't know if it's any good, but. We'll see. Thanks for tuning in, guys.